What's going on y'all? So in today's video we're going to be covering how to use icons in HTML CSS using Font Awesome. And if you guys enjoy this type of content be sure to smash that like button, comment and subscribe and let's get into this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a HTML file and a CSS file. So I'm going to do touch, I'll call it icon boy.css and touch icon boy.html and let's go right into our HTML file right in here I'm gonna minimize the terminal because we're done with that now and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type doc and we're just gonna get the short code for this if you're on Visual Studio Code I'm not sure about other uh, editors but uh, cool so now we're gonna go into right inside of our head right here I'm gonna do a link tag and I'm gonna do a rel I think that stands for relative I can't even remember style sheet and an href this is where we're going to be linking our icon boy.css. All right, let's just make sure that everything is connected. So inside of our body, I'm going to do an h1 tag. And I'll just say hello world. And inside of our CSS, let's just target every h1 and let's do color of the text. Let's change it to yellow. And I have the actual thing opened up right here. So if we refresh, we can, well, that's really light, but yeah, it's right there. All right, so we have everything connected that we need connected. And there's a link in the description below that will take you to Font Awesome. This is where we're going to grab all of our icons. Just go ahead and go to that link. And if this is your first time ever going to that, this is the first thing you're going to see right here. And just go ahead and click Start for Free. Uh, now, sadly, this does require an account for it to work. So if you don't have an account, just enter in your email address right here, and then they send you like a kit or something. And uh, just finish up with the registration process. But if you do have an account, I'm just going to click Sign In right now. Cool, so I've logged in and I've already had a kit already pre-made for my account. But if this is your first time making a kit, you would have been taken to this page right here. And you're going to see the snippet of code right here. Just go ahead and copy this script line right there. And I'm going to go back into our Visual Studio Code and inside of our HTML tag, I'm just going to import it right underneath here. And I'll just save that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and grab a font. So I'm going to go back into Font Awesome and I'm going to click on Icons right here. And I'm going to search for the icon for YouTube. So I'm just going to type in uh, YouTube. And let's go ahead and copy this first one right here. So just go ahead and click on it. You'll be taken to the actual icons page. And right here you have an i tag. Just go ahead and click this copy HTML. And if we go back into our Visual Studio Code, let's just import it right on top of the Hello World. Save it. And let's go back into our HTML file and we should see right there we have an icon really small but we have an icon right there let's change the size of the font because it's looking a little small so if you go into the I right here in the class name right after the end of this class name I'm just gonna add in a FA dash and then the size of the font that we want so there's different type of sizes that you can have XS standing for extra small you can do SM for small LG for large or you can do um, 2x all the way up to 10x um, for larger than um, anything larger than 10x it won't work so if I do let's say let's do FA LG and if we save it go back into our app we'll see that it's gotten a little bit bigger but it's still pretty small but let's say if we go into uh, 10x this should be humongous that's humongous that's actually zoomed out is pretty small but you get the point there's also another thing you can do um, it's called relative scaling so if I were to create a if I were to create a div tag right here and I put the font inside of inside of here and let's say I give this a style of uh, font size let's give it a style of like 10 rem if I save this, this is going to be relative to this div size so if I whoa that's huge that's a huge font all right so that covers everything i have for font awesome and uh, let's go ahead and make a button out of this icon because it looks really friggin nasty so the first thing i'm gonna do is i am going to replace this div tag with a button tag and i'm gonna get rid of the style because it's too big and i'll replace it with a class is equal to youtube button and i'm gonna go into our css right here and let's get rid of this h1 I don't like it. Just get rid of the H1 in here too. I don't like that either. 
and let's do let's try with the class name so dot symbol YouTube button I think that's what it was called YouTube button yep and I'll do a display inline block uh, let's do padding just general padding at 0 0.3 rem oh, not rem em and 1.2 em and i'll do a margin at 0 0 0.1 em 0 0.1 whoa 0 0.1 em and 0 and the next thing i'll do is a border 0 0.2 em solid let's do Oops, RGBA, 255, 255, 255, and 0. And the next one, let's do border radius and 5 pixels. Next one, I hope this is, what was the color for YouTube again? Uh, so background color, I'll do hashtag C4302B. Try to remember that. Cool. So the next thing I'll do is a font family. Let's change the font to it. So let's do Roboto. Mr. Roboto. Sans Serif. I don't even know if that's pronounced right, but who cares? Font weight. Let's do 300. And color. Let's change the color of the actual icon. Let's do white. And let's save that. Let's see what it looks like now. Huh, that looks looks a little bit better, but that's still too big. Let's change the size of the actual icon. Ten. Oof, that's huge. Uh, let's go with I think LG. LG sounds about right. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good button. Try to find it. There we go. Yeah, nice. All right, so that covers how to get icons using Font Awesome in HTML CSS. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, be sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.